Hey everyone, before we get stuck in, I want to, as always, thank everyone who followed since the last stream. Uh, so, let's find where we were here. Let's see. Um, dip -a -bip -a, nice Viking Chain Bro, Goldie 031, Nia 046, Master Thief 1234, Saint Huyu, Fire Shooter 2012, Ryan X16, Bremo 93, Decavor, Upgosh, uh, Wild Bill WB, uh, Zungar Khan, and GL Gregio. Thank you guys very much for the follows. I appreciate it, appreciate it a whole lot. And if anyone watching uh, wants to help support the show more, for this month, uh, subscriptions are discounted uh, for the paid subscriptions. So instead of the usual five bucks, it only costs three for you. And multi-month subscriptions are... Uh, are even further discounted, so it's like eleven dollars instead of fifteen for a full uh, three-month sub. And with that note, let's get started. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Leo History. I'm Adam, as always, and we are playing more Crusader Kings Three. I'm um, just starting off here on the load screen in the hopes that it's a little bit um, quieter and more polite uh, to everyone. Rather than Paradox's incredibly loud title music. Uh, but, also, they very much have the classic Crusader imagery here uh, on their load screen. Anyway, we're going to pick up here, hopefully this loads okay, with as King Haraldur Hardrauda of Norway. And we're going to continue this game. So, let's go. My goal for this time is to try and conquer Iceland, and uh, you know, generally make Iceland work. Woof, there we go. We were at war with someone, weren't we? Um, nope, nope. Uh, scheme has been exposed. We should probably just abandon that scheme, sadly. Anyway, the goal here is we're going to take on the uh, all of this. Oh, yep, that's exactly who I thought it was. Cool. Uh, w my goal is to take over Iceland a little bit early. Uh, by the end of the stream. So that's what we're gonna uh, shoot for. This guy here, the Yacht of Iceland, is Islefur uh, Gizerarsson. Though, oddly, for some reason he d is doesn't doesn't have any parents listed, even though he should, uh, of the Hoekdailir, which is correct. Uh, his his father was uh, Gizer the White, uh, one of the uh, chief Christian or yeah, chief players on the Christian side uh, for the conversion of Iceland in the year 1000. His son, Teitur, uh, ends up being one of the sources for Ari Thorkelson, uh, who is the father of Icelandic history, so-called, because uh, in the sometime around 1120, uh, he writes a fairly short uh, history of Iceland from the settlement to conversion, known as Eastlanding a Book or the Book of Icelanders. And Tater, he names explicitly as one of his sources for this time period. So it's pretty cool uh, that he already exists. Uh... Oh no. <laughs> Good news, you made the CK3 stream. Sadly, uh, no Dar al Islam this time, but more of Norway and taking over Iceland. It'll be fun. The Pharaohs there, yep. And the Shetlands and Orkneys down here. Cool. Let's see, what do we want to do? Uh, first things first, we should probably go into our schemes here and uh, de-scheme de -scheme ourselves because we can't actually, uh, we can't actually make this one work. Which is fine. Uh, but we're swaying him because that's generally good because Making Nidaros or Trondheim uh, friendlier to us is generally good. Let's see, what else have we got? We've got a decent amount of cash. What can we do with that? Maybe. Whatever, let's unpause and see if I can figure, remember where the hell we were. Because I don't remember where we were. Uh, a face cam is a potentially event potential eventually, but right now it's a just additional strain on my internet. And so I have no intentions of doing that. Huh, I can... Cool. 
Uh, that's fine. Cool. Uh, he they really like me. Okay. A uh, neighboring ruler one. Cool. And anything important there? Oh yeah, the spy master got thrown in jail, so we should uh potentially put make sure he gets back on it. Are there anyone who really wants to be on it? Also, my God, he's amazing at intrigue. Holy. Uh, let me check my court though, just to make sure. Uh, or uh, realm. There it is. Who are my powerful vassals that all hate me? Uh, they're all bad. They're all bad. Oh, good. He counts as a powerful vassal. Incredible. Uh, and he will adore me, which is the best news in the world. So... Where's that big number? Big number. There we go. Though, I mean, he immediately left jail, but that's fine. Uh, okay. Wh hmm. Why is this... Why is this in not our control? Okay, realm view, please. Nope. Okay, so Lapland is just one giant thing. Neat. I have no claim on that. That's boring and sad. Uh, don't I have some? Uh, don't I have claims on something else? Oh wait, that's is that my guy? That is my son losing a war again. Okay, well, this has to be terrible misunderstanding. I'm sure it's fine. Um, okay, powerful vassals want that. Don't care. Uh, those are just my sons. Can declare a whole bunch of wars though. Demand payments from either of my sons. Create some character. Some of these. If I make the Duchy of Yantland, that costs a lot of money. Huh. That's not great. Huh. Neat. We got Splendor. I like that. Um. Okay, we can create a whole bunch of this. I guess. I guess we should do that. Hmm. Okay. We'll create the Duchy of Trendelag, and. Having done that, we got ourselves a new title. Yeah, we got the Petty Kingdom of Trendelag. So, of the area around Trondheim. Which is itself uh, reasonable uh, to describe that as something that can become a whole kingdom. Uh, mostly because uh, the rule of Norway through most of this, uh, most of the Middle Ages, both before and after Christianization, kind of splits in two, or three, depending. Hmm. Uh, where we have uh, one petty kingdom along the coast here, uh, sometimes all the way down to Bergen, uh, but oftentimes based around Nivaros. Uh, and then one petty kingdom based around Oslo. And then occasionally there's one petty kingdom way the heck up here for no obvious reason. Anyway, I should probably, like, do something about this. Because it feels like I'm about to lose territory if I'm not careful. Um, who are these guys from? Runala. Can I declare war on them? Declare war? Yes, I can. I can make a holy war for the county. I've got plenty of piety and... Oh no, I am still am a sinner. Uh, crap. I wonder how I can make myself not a sinner. What can I do to... Can I go on a, like a pilgrimage or something? What? Oh, my alliance. Huh. Uh, okay, my son decided getting divorced was the best call, which is cool. Oh, actually, I can find this. I should. I should find a spouse instead of demanding a marriage. Uh, okay, she's intelligent. Oh, that's actually a really yeah. I lose a little bit. She gets a lot, but she's an amazing. 
she seems to be pretty good, all things considered. Um, certainly on stats, anyway. She's very good. Wow. Uh, who are you? You are just a... Okay. A very small French uh, baron. Okay. Well, this is a count. So this is... Th I think that's about the best we can get. And she's overall quite good. We'll accept. Neat. You are getting married again, I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, Magnus Haraldsson historically uh, died uh, eight years ago. He died in 1068, after which his brother Olaver Kira uh, ends up taking over. Oh, that's a little bit weird. Uh, whoops. So, uh... He should already be dead, but Olaver Kira uh, himself, I believe, has a. S oh, cool! I have a grandson. Is he any good? Is my grandson at all good? Um, also, is he being educated? Can I can I educate child? Hmm. Why can I not? Why can I not make him a? Why can I not do that? Um. I want to educate him, but I don't know why. Oh, because someone's already doing it. Okay, that would be why. Are you uh, already being? Okay, and your dad, your guardian. Okay, that would be a good reason why. We're good. Anyway, uh, my uh, Count Ragnar Lordenson was uh, taken prisoner. Because apparently they're losing this fight for no discernible reason. I don't know why. I'm not getting any notifications on being able to do that. Anyway, uh, fabricate claim on Ross or grant the title to... Yeah, fine. I will grant you... I will grant you that. Oh. I'm already super stressed out. Never mind. I am not going to grant that. What? Why? Jeez. I'm already... yeah. I mean, I've got a scheme to sway him, so he's probably fine. Um, declaring a bunch of wars, demand payments from... I can actually demand payment from Olav. Okay. And I did that, which is just good money. And active election still. Wait. Why is... yeah. Who's currently in line? Current... yeah. I am... My son is leading, so I don't care. Okay. Thank you, game. Weird. Uh, yeah, he... Uh, he dies shortly after. I mean, to be fair, uh, Haraldur Hardrauda dies in Stamford Bridge. Down here. In 1066, uh, a little bit before the battle, uh, about a month before the Battle of Hastings. So uh, he dies first, and then a couple years later, uh, Magnus dies, and then from there things kind of spiral. Cause I've talked a on the other streams about kind of the problems of the periphery of Europe where by and large uh, the systems of Crusader Kings are built around the idea of high medieval French feudalism. Oh. Oh no. So, uh, my wife just died. The- oh no. Yeah. Uh, my... My wife just died, even though neither of my children were by her. Apparently this is still bad. Well, that's not good. Uh, I don't have long left to live either, so I'm not going to bother getting remarried. Because, probably. 
I don't know. This game might be weird and cause problems, but um, I don't know. None of these guys look uh at all at all helpful, though. It's a shame. Oh well, so be it. Okay, I really don't care that my neighbors are being dumb. Hey! Ha! The King of Scotland got taken prisoner. Amazing. Okay, so... Meanwhile, well, maybe we should just declare war on Iceland. We have the money. Let, let's do it. Though... Uh... I don't want to be a little bit careful um, there. Anyway... Uh, Jarl Tater. Oh, hey. Uh, Eastlafer Gizarason died. So. Huh. So, uh, apparently. Oh, that's weird. That is super weird. Um. So. It looks like Iceland is de jure part of, uh,. Okay, so the, uh, I guess, it's not county, but petty kingdom of the dukedom of Iceland, or Jartlum, as they call it, uh, is, uh, de jure supposed to be part of Norway. That's a really whack thing. Uh, the reason why that's so whack is that it is hardly inevitable in uh, 1077, uh, that Iceland is actually going to become part of Norway, although in many ways since the settlement Iceland had been a little bit reliant on Norway for both renown and physical resources. Uh, but they, the traditional narrative of the settlement is quite simply uh, that the uh, that people went to Iceland uh, for the sake of uh, escaping the unification efforts of Haraldur Harfagri uh, Feinherr in the early uh, 9th century and so or middle of the 9th century and so between 870 and 930 uh, bunch of the leading families come in and settle around Iceland in order to quite quite thoroughly uh, escape. Really? One of my guys... Seriously? Uh, cool, we got one victory. They're not even running. Why, why are you guys not running? There we go. Uh, first, first army, please. There we go. I am the commander. And where can I actually... Oh, I'm besieging, uh... I'm besieging, basically, uh... Hoikdalur, actually. Even though it's called... Uh, Reiderfjall. Uh, so, somewhere in eastern Iceland. Anyway, um... Let's be the taxman. Okay. So, uh, we as we stomp Iceland and claim it for ourselves. Uh, the... Oh, cool. And yeah, he was there in... Wait, I can just win the war right now. Uh, enforce demands, please. Becomes my vassal, and I gain 50 fame. Cool. Greetings, my liege. Blessings upon you and your house. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this, I will comply with your demands. Your Tater. Got it. And so he becomes my vassal. I can order my guys to all stand down. And that's it. We are now are in control of Iceland. Easy. Uh, it did say Reyther Fjall. Uh, that would be correct. Uh, they do, in fact, not settle the interior. The interior is completely uninhabitable. Uh, if you've ever been to Iceland, that remains true. Uh, oh, huh, they're using Kusavik already in place. Though, Kusavik should be up here. 
Why Husavik is here, I don't know, but Husavik should be way up here. Uh, meanwhile, yo, uh, so this is uh, near the edge of the uh, Vats Yachat Glacier. This is, uh, what's his name? Yachat's Outlaw, uh, or the Glacial Bay, with then. Uh, this should probably be uh, 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 the, actually, uh, the head of the, or the main farm of the Hoekdailir family. And then out here, they have Reykjavik. Reykjavik does not exist in this time period. It's founded in the 1700s. Uh, so, neat. Uh, however, Reykjavik, you know, actually in here, uh, is the place where Ingolver Arnason, uh, the guy who uh, gets credited with being the first permanent settler in Iceland, actually landed. He landed here in uh, Reykjavik. For some reason, though, uh, the bishop is Rick is at Stockseyri and not at Skalholt up here, so that's weird. It it does, it is in fact a very funny name, uh, but oh, we roll with it. I mean, it's better than Akureyri, which is you know the field place, uh, despite um, not being tucked away in a fjord in the mountains with no fields around it, unless you go significantly farther. West, so that's whatever. <laughs> no big deal. Oh, I am being raided. Uh, that's a problem. I should probably, should probably deal with that. Uh, military, raid all armies. And go deal with the raids, please. Hopefully I can actually cut them off. We'll see. They are ongoing with that raid, so... Am I guys actually trav going to travel on time? Not even close. Ha! That's a problem. My granddaughter was taken prisoner, but I will squish their army now, and... Okay, yeah, sure, I'll... I will accept. I just need to minimize this. Okay. And uh, now let's go watch us squish these guys again. For some reason, we have really great advantage against us, but we should still easily win this. Um, just because we have a lot more forces, so it doesn't actually matter. Voila! As they run away. And... Wait, what? Why is Olaver somewhere suddenly... Where did they go? I just lost them. Weird. Uh, why is... Hang on. I'm deeply confused now. Why did... Why did my election just, uh, switch? Did my son die? No. No. Why am I... Why did I just change my vote to, away from... I mean... A lover is better than... A lover is significantly better than his brother. Um, okay, sure. I'll take it. Does he have... He does have a guy. Does he have a guardian? He does. Perfect. And he is cynical and curious. Nice. Bad at piety, but that's fine. Okay. Well, as long as as long as there's a plan, uh, I guess I'm cool with that. Where did the raiders go? Um, I'm no longer being raided though, so I guess I can disband. Uh. Okay. Well, that was fun. I actually have really. A whole lot of, uh... Okay. Whatever. Factions. Vassal and County join factions. Uh, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. But it's just the one... 
Oh, good. He he. Uh, Paul has been good. Uh, okay. Anyway, so I was talking about Iceland. Uh, By the way, Gainsarin, are you just are you Icelandic? So anyway, uh, Iceland was settled uh, in the ninth century, and so it's interesting to me in the ten sixty six or yeah the ten sixty six start date that they're using Islay for uh, Gizarason because while he is one of the most uh, important people in the country, period. Uh, he is also the first bishop. Wait, why am I... Oh yeah, right. Uh, I'm technically at war. Uh, I should guess I should do that. I should actually, like, contribute. Uh, where is this war happening? It's happening out here. Okay. Uh... Neat, neat. Uh, okay. Um, my squad, please. Go out here. I don't know if we'll make it on time, but we will certainly try. Anyway, uh, he is the... F East Laver, we also know... Uh, woo, look at them, speedwalk. Uh, he was educated in Germany, in the Holy Roman Empire, under the Ottonians, so... What? Uh, Duchy of Voltenia, where is it? Oh, he, that's Hungarian. Okay. Yes. Oh, wow. Look at them go fast. Oh, Gondain. Ha. <laughs> well, yeah, Bjo, uh, is Islandi, uh, through our? So, Islandska mean, er, ekis vogot. Uh, I for God, and but I try sometimes. Oh, welcome in. So anyway, uh, where are they going? Hello, please. We shall walk in there, and we shall see if we l win this f fight for a change. I don't think we do, because they've got a lot more people than we do. Uh, not even close. Wow. Fair play. What? How did you... I have missed... Lo I am losing two people. Okay, fine, fine. How did I lose two people? What happened? What? Okay, um... Thora died. That's not good. My counselor Paul died. Uh. Okay, yeah. So my duke got uh killed. Also, my son, my two sons, both got taken prisoner. Uh, that's awkward. Huh. Well, I will have to quick try and go and ransom, um, realm. No, can I ransom people? Yeah, I know. Um, titles, titles. Nope, I cannot. Okay. Peculiar. Whatever. Uh, council. Chancellor. Um, Tater obviously does seems to not like me, um, but... He has decent, he has actually pretty good diplomacy. I'm actually, I'm okay with that. And you are supposed to be my son, but um, he kind of went and got himself captured, so that's a problem. Wow, look at how smart this guy is. It's a shame I can't do anything with that, uh, because he is incredibly, incredibly smart. Also decent at stewardship, so maybe we'll... Give him some oomph there. Um, yeah, I guess we'll do that. And more perks. Huh. 
We'll do that, I guess. And off we go. So, uh... Anyway, uh... Eastlaver, uh... Despite his, uh, father's importance, uh, in... The conversion of Iceland is hardly like the only important figure, uh, even in the time period, because uh, Gizzard the White's ally, uh, Snorri Goði, uh, based out here in uh, West Iceland, is he actually might be up in the West Fjords actually, uh, is incredibly powerful and shows up in basically every saga um, of the time period, because yeah. Oh, wait. How are we suddenly winning this war? What the hell happened? Oh, also, where are my armies up here? Oh, well, um... Mag... Praise. Magnus has been killed, uh, hopefully? Hopefully Olaver does not also get killed, because that would be awkward. I have been overwhelmed by stress, uh, torrential grief. Uh, life has never been easy, but it feels like the loss of my son Magnus has pushed me over the edge. I still remember him as a baby, so tiny, so fragile. Despite that, he survived growing up, go growing older until now, when he suddenly stopped. Stress level 1. Well, uh, getting the trait melancholic, which makes me bad at everything. Gain frozen grief. Uh huh. That makes sense. Um, or I can become a drunkard. Right. Well, this has gone well. I think we shall go melancholic. We have very little to live for anyway. We are an old man. We should have died some uh, 20 almost 20 years ago, so that's fine. Melancholic. Uh, dang it. Preaching an orthodox doctrine. I I am frustrated by that. Uh, largely because um, it's dumb, and it's dumb that it's well, I will actually go and try and cut off these guys, because if I can do that, that would be huge. Uh, we'll see. Uh, uh, well, they'll probably beat me to it. Wow, how did you get... Oh, it's William the Conqueror's army. That's why. Welp, I am... Um, I died. Harder. The hard cancelled is... Uh, very dead. He died of old age. A tormented man, he had long desired the sweet embrace of death. King Olaf ascends to the throne. A gentle and compassionate soul, the vassals will surely thrive under his reign. Unfortunately, I am currently in jail. And also at war. So, that's fine. And Tryggvi Olafsson is my heir. Okay. So, uh, let's actually... Um, lifestyle focus. Stewardship. Oh, okay. Now is my older son, who is my heir. Uh, anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Stewardship monthly income is more. Stewardship is up. Or... The duty focus. Okay, I think we'll do this one. And then we will h try and go into this quickly. Very good. Okay. Um, problems number next. Low counter control in the West Fjord. In the West Fold. Okay. I will need to go into my council. My council is largely fine. Um, my council all, all mostly likes me, except you. You don't like me. Um, I am in prison, so I can't do freaking anything. Uh, anyway, uh, you should. Nope. Increase control in the West Fold. Where is the Westfold? Where did all of my issues go? Uh, low county control in Westfold.
Where is the county of... I'm not sure where I'm actually... Uh, oh, it's right here. Okay. No, that's best land. Oh, right, okay. Found it. Finally. I should have known that best best fold would be Oslo. Okay. Um. Anyway. Active election. I should probably um. You know. Be casting my vote for that, cause he seems pretty good overall. And I can uh. If I can, if I'm lucky, I can pay my way out. And yeah, okay. Who is capturing me? You? I cannot ransom myself. That's fair. I will just have to wait for the war to be done and then he will, uh. I can't start that until, anyway, for a while. Okay, um, meanwhile, other things. Siblings are working on it, though you're dead. Uh, you guys have nothing. Let's see, where are you guys? You are in the Hebrides, so you guys are in a different... Right, uh... Oh, actually, he's in my... He's actually in my thing. I should actually try to educate these kids. Okay, patrol there. Relationships one, uh, Guardian is still his, there. Okay. And I was going to look at myself. Has two wards. Uh, my, my two daughters. Uh, can I? I can't do anything right now uh, with them because uh, I'm just in jail. Okay. That's fair. Oh look, my best friend's also in jail. That's cool too. Alright, well, I suppose we should wait for them to win the war. Because they are going to win it, so that's fun. Hey, we've got a bot. Uh, give me just a moment and I'll take care of that. Um. Banned. Banned. Okay. Bot has been... Can I ransom myself, please? Incredible. Decisions. As, can I attempt to escape? I shall attempt to escape. Uh, what is my promise? Not super good. Um, I have my traits. Yeah, I am not going to do that. Uh, that seems unwise. Wait, so William the Conqueror has taken the guy jailing me. Can I just send you a gift at least? Oh, he actually likes me, so why can I not? Fine, I will do that first. Well then, uh, Ingebjörg came to be complaining about Odder, uh, bullying her. She started asking her to get someone hanged if she felt like they should be. Uh, okay, and why, am I, why would I get stressed off of that? If I lose his arbitrary, he gains Craven, which is bad. Uh, and then loses arbitrary and gains... Lazy, which is worse. Anyway, uh, would you actually please ransom yourself? Oh, oh, okay, I need to actually do that to ransom myself. Okay, that would be why. Let me out. Thank you. Uh, you may, that may be true, but I, uh, would rather be, uh, in charge of my own everything, so that's fine. Um, anyway, oh good, you like me nowadays, for some reason. Start that scheme, um, where am I on, why am I losing money? Uh, 
Oh, because well, I am losing... Well, the army is still up, isn't it? Um... Okay, I'm still losing money after that, so... Why do I... I disband it all. I I disband it all. I don't know why I can't um why I'm losing money when I have already Hmm. All things must be given time. Um, my daughter Ingerd has been impressed with all the household knights for a very long time. After finally meeting in person, uh, she has been repeating the warriors' words for themselves. Give others their due, and you will receive your own in turn. Diplomacy up, monthly income down. Versus diligent makes her slightly better at everything. And then patience uh, makes her a little bit better. Oh well, generous is fine. I have no armies to disband. I cannot disband any armies. I don't have any. Why is... Why do it... Okay. What the hell is going on here? Um. Where I am losing... 8.3 for raised armies. Of which I have none. Uh, I guess I will check to see if there's an army here. Oh, there is. That's why. Okay, I just need to walk them back to Norway first so I can disband them. That's why. At least it makes sense. Um, Taxman. Oh boy. Um, I appear to be a little bit injured. Or ill. That's not great. Um, send for a physician, please. So you are quite well learned, but not actually particularly good at that. Oh my god. Okay, a uh, better gift it is. Or Matilda as alternative medicine. What are you? Why are you? You're Catholic. Okay. Generally good, uh, generally really good at everything, but, uh, let's see, famous reveler, herbalist, yeah, we'll do that. Um, Harrogeth has bring the, uh, ah, that is great. By the power of song, we have become better. Okay, uh, Leander, you ask, uh, considering I am I am not a big fan of the feudal structure, do I have an idea how they could better reflect how the governing actually works? If I could freely implement a new system or make any changes. So, the biggest problem there, uh... Cool. We're good at... And uh, we will disband you. Okay, now we are earning money again. We're good. Hey! And we are well. Good. So, uh, Iceland here uh, is, throughout most of its period, up until 1258, uh, is an independent uh, commonwealth with no executive authority. Which means it actually works uh, kind of badly for something on this scale. Uh, so... What it is, is there are, well, what is it, in each of the four districts. So we've got the, uh, oh no, aw, yeah. The, the problem is mostly, uh, that what systems work really well in one part of Europe work really badly in another part, which work very badly in Africa, which work very badly in uh, in Asia, in India, in 
the Central Asian steppes. They all just, whatever works in one place doesn't work in another. And obviously, uh, the I talked last time about the Eastern Roman Empire being kind of a problem. Uh, and the fact that all the Roman citizens were made into serfs is a problem. Anyway, uh, so in Iceland, there are four quarters. Uh, I don't actually remember. I think it's the west, southwest is the western quarter. Uh, the northern quarter. No, it should be the west quarter is the west shores through Reykjanes. Uh, north is in Akureyri, east is the East Fjords, and then south is the southern coast here. So actually, they are, they kind of show it, though. The fact that they, what they should be doing is they should be splitting, uh, combining these two, uh, the Barony of Reykjavik and then the Bishopric of Stokseyri should be two different quarters, and then the, uh, Western District should be here, even though the West Fjords are functionally their own thing for a lot of the time. Legally speaking, they're part of the Western District. There are 12 chieftainships uh, by the, af by the 1200. Uh, there are 12 chieftainships in each of the four quarters. Uh, and so each of those chieftains are functionally the big man of their district, uh, who are in charge of managing the independent farmers' feuds. Iceland has no executive authority. For any court case, uh, the person in charge of enforcing the verdict of a court case is the victim, is the person who won the case. If they uh, don't, then the case may as well have never happened, and that happens a few times. So that big complicated feuding system ends up being really, really important. Uh, for some reason, I am not in good condition, so I should actually maybe look at... I want to to look at going on, like, pilgrimage. Oh no! Uh, my wife just got absolutely, um, absolutely busted. She's so bruised and, uh, what happens? Um, chastised physician, okay. Botched disease, yep. This will not happen again, okay? Yeah, so trying to emulate that in game mechanics is difficult, um, but I cannot- wait, okay. I need to be not at war first. This war should be almost done, please. Please? Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, there we go. Woohoo. Now I'm going to go on pilgrimage. Prepare for the journey. The site, uh, the, the Vatican, uh, the site at Jerusalem, or somewhere else. Let's go to Jerusalem, actually. That should be fine. I really do need the piety. Anyway, uh... So, uh, trying to show Iceland in game mechanics is... Oh. Others have met with, uh... We shall do that. Okay. Uh... After five years of fun, the, uh... Extend the patronage, I believe. We can, we're doing fine on money. Anyway, um, so they're showing that in Iceland was actually pretty doable. What? Okay, even when on pilgrimage, the Mary still hold mass every Sunday. It's held in the open when no church is nearby, but early this morning a storm rolled in and has not ceased. Okay, I shall take my chances there. Uh, anyway, showing that in Iceland would actually work fairly easily within Crusader Kings 3's mechanics, though it is uh, not super easy, but it still is very much doable. Uh, because each of those chieftainships could functionally fun be a barony. Uh, it doesn't really work, but uh, they could be. Uh, and then you have some the elected law speaker uh, 
could arguably kind of work in that. Uh, the problem is unifying it more than that. Uh, essentially, the way that would work, and is actually what happened historically, is that a single chieftain needs to buy up multiple Gothar, or chieftainships. So, that happened in the starting in the 1100s, uh, the kind of the middle of the 1100s. As the tithe, uh, the Gothar realized that they can just put churches on their land and then collect the income from the churches on their land, for their land, and then use that to buy up more chieftainships. And so what actually happens is of the 48 chieftainships, they are all kept within six families uh, by 1180. Uh, the most prominent of those two families are uh, the very old Heiksailir, uh, and if we remember, uh, Jarl Teitur here uh, is part of the, he the Heiksailir family. And so his descendants, particularly Jon Lofsson and his grandson uh, Gizur Thorvaldsson, uh, end up owning a whole bunch of territories. And the other one is an upstart, uh, Fam Sturtla, uh, who buys up the territory in Breidafjörður up here, uh, the farm at Farmer, which is founded by Oivr the Deep-Minded, one of the first settlers of the country, and one of the most well-respected. Uh, she is one of the start dates for the 867. Uh, the 867 start date has her being in charge of West Iceland. So, uh, that's ultimately like how it works, is that you buy up multiple chieftainships and then they form kind of would be a rough de jure thing. Uh, you change the names uh, for Iceland because the idea of it being by law is rough. Don't recommend that. Uh, but it still roughly kind of works. Anyway, there is a reason that I uh, went... There's a reason I went here. Uh, the reason why I went here is that, uh, let's see, Olaf's son should be Magnus the Third. Let me just double check that so I don't get this wrong again. Uh, Magnus the Third is, yeah, is the son, is his son. So Olaf Erkire, Olaf the Third, uh, his son is Magnus Barefoot who has three or four illegitimate children. Uh, two of them, Eystein and uh, Sigurdur, become co-rulers of Norway uh, at the start of the 12th century. So, shortly after this time period, uh, we're going to live a lot longer, but uh, sometime, uh, I think it's in like 1105? Let me, no, uh, 1103. Okay, they become co-rulers. In 1107, Sigurdur goes on crusade to Jerusalem. Uh, Woohoo, and we are suddenly faithful. Good. That helped us out a lot. Low county control in the best fold still. What? Okay. Yes, we are good to be home. Uh, council. Okay, you're still doing that. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm surprised to find my wife sulking in my study. By the look on her face, something is clearly upsetting Maria, yet it takes me a while to convince her to share her concerns with me. Oh boy, my, uh... Who are you? Uh, are you an anybody? You're a nobody. But you do have two children, um, including my daughter, who I should probably... Are you... Being, yeah, you are good friends with my son, uh, my legitimate son. Uh, but I should educate you. No, I cannot. I can't. Why can I not educate? How old are you? You're fourteen. I should still be able to sign you. Freaking. Ah, uh, fine. I would. What is the one more? Request claim. 
offer ward, offer guardianship, uh, making someone in his court the. I want to make you, um, what? That's not right, um, the offer guardianship? Hmm, I'm trying to remember how this actually works. If I do that and the recipient is that, this is Count Finn as the ward and Gibbick does that. Okay, because he's the one who has insanely good learning. Um, so, what I want him to become is I want. Uh, I, what I, I want him to be educating one of my children. For some reason, it's not allowed to be. Um, but I don't seem to actually have the option to do that, so I'm gonna just not. Uh, it's weird. Why? Why can I not do that? Children. Can I educate child? Educate child. Nope. Uh. Huh. More bots. Hang on. Uh, well, we I know we're being successful because we've gotten a whole bunch of bots recently. So, you know, that's that's cool, I guess. Uh, yay for bots. Uh, oh, you do seem to be fully, pretty much fully educated, though. Uh, you've already she's already got her traits in place, so that also may be part of it. Also, I wonder if it's that, yeah, the uh, guardian. That the guardians are kind of sometimes, whatever. It's not important. I don't need to. I don't need to worry about that. I'm going to try and work. Keep going. Anyway, um, I will see if you do this. Okay, I will. I will talk with Anna. There we go. And we have a friend. Ta-da! A genuine good friend. And she is... Okay, she's the wife of the Earl. Okay, cool. Voila. And meanwhile... Continued wealth. Okay, I, I want to ask for other things, but geez. What? My treasury is printing with gold and silver and all expenses are cared for. As a wealthy lord, I expect you to offer patronage to some kind of artist or scholar. That's a good question. Do any of these guys... Uh, Frey is known for growing beautiful gardens. Uh, Torbrand's religious poetry has moved many souls. The discoveries uh, made by Holmleig uh, show promise. We shall do that. And then we have some problems on money, but that's fine. Let's go into our council. Uh, and I would have you... Stop. What? I want you to gather taxes, okay? Ingebjörg seems to have... Uh, huh. Apparently I am a... Uh, apparently being scared is a good thing. It's weird. Uh, Ingebjörg seems to have been having a little a difficult time at our latest feast. She buried her face in the food. Uh, what is the trait gluttonous? Stewardship is bad. Apparently that's a, uh, a small problem. Um, but... Well, gluttonous or is shy. Indeed. Uh, we will do that, even though that stresses us out a little bit. Okay. And we are gathering taxes, so 
Progress. Uh, we're not very good at wars, but that's fine. Anyway, I was talking about Sigurdur Hjor Salafari. Uh, in 1107, he goes off and he travels uh, by sea, actually. Uh, I believe he starts by sea, tra cuts through France, and then sails, or maybe he actually sails all the way around. I don't remember for sure. Uh, and then stops in Sicily. Huh. And eventually goes and ends up in Jerusalem, where the Latin Kingdom of Jerusalem, which does not exist uh, yet, but might soon, uh, depending on what happens there. Cool. Okay, um... They're definitely benefiting. I would like if they some of them were... Uh, well, that's alright. Uh, she is really good at stuff, right? No, she's not good at stuff. Um, okay, I want to... Check my son Trigvi here and... Uh, remove Guardian? No. Why is... Why are you tutoring? I mean... Uh, Yes, you're tutoring our kids, but why are you tutoring our kids? Uh, I want him to be educated by someone else, but I don't seem to have that power. So, whatever. I don't know why. Oh, well. It doesn't super matter. Uh, anyway, uh, after he's greeted in the Latin Kingdom of Jerusalem. Uh, is given a piece of the true cross, supposedly. Then sails to Constantinople where he leaves a lot of gifts and all his ships and then travels by land back into Norway. Upon getting back from this pilgrimage slash crusade, uh, it claims to be a crusade, but I don't know, it doesn't actually... Uh, there was not a whole lot of fighting, though there was some. Uh, Aistin confronts his brother according to Snorri Sturluson in his Heimskringla. Woohoo! Feasts. Uh, and Aistain, uh thinks that, you know, maybe... Well... That's unfortunate. Uh, anyway, Aistain complains to his brother that, you know, this is bad. You should not have gone on crusade, because that abandons your duty to care for the welfare of your people actively right here. And Sigurd responds of, well, no, I'm saving their souls along with everyone else's. This is clearly the best thing I can do as king. They're, they're both co-rulers, and this is probably a made-up dialogue. But what is true is that they were not on good terms for a long time after this. Uh, and partially as a result, uh, they... Uh, they end up setting up a long period of civil war after, I think, Aistain dies first, and then Harald Kla- uh, no. Uh, what's his face? Um, doo -boo 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 -boo. Uh, Harald Gilla shows up from the, uh, Orkneys, claiming to be an illegitimate son of Magnus Barefoot, and is accepted as such despite that very much being, uh, Uh, very much, uh, probably fake, but sets up a very long period of, uh, uh, a very long period of civil war. So, from roughly, uh, roughly the end of that golden age, uh, in sometime in the, what, 1130s, I want to say? Let me double check that. Uh, because I do not trust myself to, uh, actually remember dates, even though I am a historian. Uh, I am incredibly bad at dates, but that, what I do know is how to look things up. And uh, that is truly all that matters. Um, anyway, Sigurd Crusader dies in 1130. Perfect. I knew it. I had the date right. Uh, he dies in 1130, and uh, the civil wars that result uh, in the coming kings uh, and the Roughly, the two factions that eventually show up, um... 
he that doesn't end until 1240 huh I uh for the Earl of Caithness okay fair enough we're not particularly good at this but that's fine uh, I would I need to call on allies Um, do I have anyone else available? No, I don't. Okay, let's unpause so that these guys can gather. And... Okay, uh... Duke Brynjolf is incredibly good. And... She has... Become incredibly good. Holy shit. Uh, Grey Eminence is the best lifestyle experience. Uh the highest rank of diplomatic so i'm proud of her she did good anyway uh let's pick up the pace here and the army is gonna sail to katniss the earldom of katniss right there okay neat there is their army is significantly bigger. Uh, this will be interesting. I don't know quite how I'm going to go about doing that. Um, hmm. We'll do that, I guess. That seems relevant. Hello. Uh, I mean. You did hear a crusade, Brother Jeremiah, for Sigurd or Yorsalafari, which is half a pilgrimage and half a crusade. He, uh, Sigurd there gets counted as being the first person to, uh, act, first king to lead a crusade himself. Which ends up being, uh, pretty great. Uh, I'm gonna lose this fight. I'm absolutely gonna lose this. Which is a shame. Uh,. Though it did force the, uh... Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I guess we'll do that, yeah. Oh, they're gonna hunt me down. Dang it. Can I call on him? Oh! Neat. Well, that was worthwhile. He died in battle, I believe. Um, no? Okay. Oh, he's not my he's not my heir. He's just a younger son. Um, that's not good. Anyway, we're getting thrashed in this war, so that's awkward. Alec and Bannon's- oh no, uh, my son Harold was killed in the battle. And Duke Brynjolf, uh, lost that fight, so, um, hmm, I'm not really sure what my solution there is. Oh, uh, well, they're gonna fight each other, and we're gonna lose again, even though this is advantageous conditions. And my nephew is currently my heir, though I have not cast- Lots of things just happened. I hate when that... I hate when that happens. Um, we'll do Mayor, Mayor Tora. And also, I want to uh, check the army here. Even though, you know, it got thrashed. Uh, who's leading my army? I actually don't know. Oh. What? How did we win a fight? Oh, my ally showed up. They actually, like, appeared. And did the thing. Aw, that was nice of them. And I need to nominate a successor right now, because right now my nephew is my heir. Why is my nephew my heir and not any of my son? Oh, because none of them are of age. Uh, that being said, I can still make him my heir quite easily by casting my vote. Okay. Are they just going to be done? Are we going to push in? 
And, uh... We shall push up and see if this will just not be a... See if we can actually, you know, besiege them and start making progress on this stupid war. Instead of waiting for them to rally. Okay. We did breach the walls. Huh. And you guys are just leaving? Okay. Bye. Neat. Okay. So that was a lot. Uh, that was a lot of things just happened at once. And I lost track of everything I was saying. Uh, anyway, uh, one, I guess one conclusion we can make off of, uh, Oh, come on. That's not a surprise. Uh... It... Okay. Um, we are making progress on this war, which is good. And... Cool. Uh, we just won the war. Ta-da! We get war reparations, and we can finally, um, disband this. And I would... Yeah, my brother-in-law did a whole bunch of work. Uh, okay, the Sami Swamensko populists I don't super care about. Uh... Ah, uh, that's fine. We'll do that, because... There's a long tradition of illegitimate um, everything uh, in Norway. Uh, one of the other more popular or more successful kings in the Civil War period, uh, King Sverrir, is almost certainly an uh, illegitimate. He he claimed to be an illegitimate son of the two kings previous. He most likely is an imposter, but he got recognized anyway, so it's fine. Anyway, um... Hello? Huh. The Arthator has been very kind of m to me. And instead he gained a whole bunch of stress. Wow. Well done. Well, his intentions are absolutely not pure, but that's fine. We will let it roll anyway, because I'm sure it'll all be fine. So, uh, but one thing from the beginnings of this, the end of kind of this period and what we're about to see, uh, is one of the big problems with kind of this argument being done here. Oh yeah. We must stop that. Um, let's take a look at those schemes. Um, I hold a hook on her. And... That is not a good hook. Um, so. Success chance is not good. Um, I will set him to discover more schemes. Even though I don't think there are more. Um... Yeah, we'll seem to be disrupting schemes. Um, you can train train commanders, please. And you can work on domestic affairs. And you are helping out my court intrigue. Or you can just assist me with everything. What are my stats all, all across the board here? No, I do need her to stay on court intrigue. Because mine is really hot garbage. Uh, if I ever declare war, she needs to switch me to uh, switch to Marshall, but that's okay. Everyone else seems to like me um, convert faith in county. What are the faiths around in my county, actually? Uh, Norway is pretty much entirely Catholic. It's just this one that is not. Okay. 
Um, but he's not actually part of my realm, is he? Oh, he technically is. How did I manage that? When did I manage that? That's fine. Uh... Okay. That worked. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, the tradition that works really badly in CK3... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. I'm not exactly worried by that. Uh, anyway, uh, there's this tradition of having co-rulers, which is obviously a quite old. Uh, even through a lot of the area, uh, as I pause again here quick, uh, just uh, we'll just slow down time actually. We'll just go slowly and let it kind of tick on. Even in France, uh, Carolingian France, uh, Louis the Pious is coronated as Charlemagne's successor and heir and co-king before Charlemagne's death. And that happens with Louis the Pious's uh, eldest son, uh, Lothar, as well, even though that the territory eventually gets split up into three, uh, Lotharingia being here-ish in the western part of the Holy Roman Empire in this, uh, in this map. So, it is very much- oh wow, the Holy Roman Empire is doing well for itself. Like, being able to control all the way down down here is quite well done for it. Uh, but, that's not a system this game does very well at. There is one ruler, and there is one ruler of each place, and they are- every- every county has one ruler, uh, and the barons are all one, and then at the royal level there is one king at a time. And the idea of having two kings who are both the king of Norway, uh, who do not get along with each other, is something this game cannot model, but is a really important part to understanding uh, Scandinavian history, broadly. Uh, additionally, uh, other issues is, of course, the feudal structure in general just does not work in Lapland. It just doesn't. Uh, it works okay in Sweden, though a little bit early. It works a little bit better in Denmark. It works okay in Norway. With some tweaks, it kind of could work in Iceland, though. Iceland uh, doesn't unify until 1258. Uh, Snorri Sturluson in uh, 12... Oh. That's not good. You can decide. Uh... Snorri Sturluson, uh, in the 1230s, uh, shortly before his death, uh, theoretically, uh, because there was a civil war between the regent, or former regent, uh, Jach Skuli, and the king, Haukon, uh, he would become Haukon in Ganli, Haukon IV, uh, the old. By the time he was just Haukon, Haukon Arson, uh, a civil war was going on between them, uh, Snorri supported Skuli and supposedly took the title Jarl of Iceland from him. But uh, he was also been promised the title by Haukon in exchange for bringing Iceland under Norwegian control, and he procrastinated on that for 30 years. Um, oh cool, you're a trained healer? How trained is trained? You are definitely trained. Cool. Uh, point as card position? Come to court. No, a point, a point is... I know, you've been okay, but I'm going to do that. Uh, also, I'm realizing that I should go in here. I've got one guest right now who is incredibly good at stewardship, but is otherwise um, kind of a nobody. That's alright. Uh, wow, Maximilian the Lawgiver is actually really good. Uh, I want to appoint him to my council. 
because uh, that 21 stewardship is incredible. I'm sorry. I will need to replace you. Okay, he's got so much, so much learning, but, uh, Maximilian the Lawgiver is very good, um, because look at that, he's kind of insane, uh, he's also really good at, like, pretty okay at, well, he's not great, but he's okay. Uh, being in charge of an army, but that's fine. He is really good. Uh, so we will take that. Actually, I want to get him married. I want you to get married to someone. Uh, doesn't need to be particularly good, but Huh Interesting uh, Don't need Maybe that. Wow, she will accept that even though that is insane. Okay, fair. Okay. And I need to go into my realm now. I've got one guy who's almost certainly angry at me. Um, we will sway him. And who is the other one that I just sacked? Count Finn, uh, he actually still really likes me. Well done. And Yarth Tater. Really, he doesn't count as a powerful vassal. That's embarrassing. Uh, oh well, see ya Karabaki. Thank you for lurking. Let's, not, let's do that so that I can uh, upgrade. I want to upgrade some of my towns again. Because uh, Bergen... Where is Bergen? There's Bergen. Uh, hmm. Outposts. Well, none of those are actually super helpful. I, let's upgrade this. Upgrade the trade port. Because it is just generally good. Uh, Nidoros is... Let's see. Siege work, Royal Armories, Jousting Grounds, Blacksmiths, Archery Grounds, Tax Offices, or Leisure Palaces, or Royal Reserves. Hmm. So these are all, once again, extremely, uh, kind of typically high medieval things. So. Something like a military academy is just kind of anachronistic overall. A lot of it is pretty ad hoc. But the marches uh, is pretty much like... It's odd that that's looking as like a city dashi building, but that's fine. Uh, that is kind of just referring... I mean, mark just means land. Uh, often used for warrior lands, such as the Welsh marches, but also, you know, Denmark is a march. Uh, siege works uh, doesn't really matter if we're not doing uh, the royal armories is interesting. Jousting grounds uh, this would be basically hosting tournaments and then would enable would very much be part of the uh, Something we'd see later, not in the 11th century, but in the 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th centuries. Uh, you'd see these a lot where knights almost become dedicated tournament people. And uh, looking a little bit more, uh, kind of... What? Oh. Why can I not construct those? I see. I need to get the... Hmm. Odd. That's fine. Anyway, um, siege work, royal armies, jousting grounds, blacksmiths. I don't know why that's a unique thing. Every town would have a smith. Uh, tax offices, again, is kind of assuming successful tax collection, which is meh. 
Uh, the leisure palaces are a very, very common thing, but tend to show up later. Uh, there's a bunch in France that are really, really cool and really weird. Uh, there's one that Ellie Truitt describes in her book, Medieval Robots, that is not owned by the king, but that uh, pretty much everyone who was anyone kind of went to it in the, at some point. And it's actually this annoying joke palace where there will be all sorts of practical jokes played on you, and the expectation is you ruin all of your fine clothes your incredibly fine clothes at this summer palace with automata, with uh, fountains that will come out of walls and s soak you, or flour that gets dumped on your head, or uh, mirrors that make you look ugly, or all that kind of weird thing. And yet it was incredibly popular in the 1400s, so. Or there's the Royal Reserves, which is basically held forest land and managed. Which is cool. Huh. Nice. Nice. Happened despite my core chaplain's poor learning. Thank you. Anyway, uh... And... Well, let's actually get those built. Uh, let's build more places while we've got the time. Uh, exercise in mediation. When the raised voices reach, reach me yet again, I quench my instinct to turn on my heel. The constant bickering of the vassals Mayor Torre and Count Oistmod uh, is enough to drive any man mad. Something must be done. Try and make them see sense. Ta-da! They all, they like each other now and I, everyone likes me. Everyone really likes me. Uh, what can I actually do here? Oh, cool. Additional taxes. Uh, powerful vassals, okay. None of them actually dislike me, though, so... Right. You, you super like me, wow. Uh, you do not like me, but I'm working on that. Uh, you like me a little bit. Can declare some wars, uh... Oh, I can declare war on you for the... Hold... How big is the duchy here? Okay, I can get part of the county, or I could go for the ho holy war for the whole duchy. I guess, yeah, because I am faithful, uh, and s nice. Uh, all targets held by all such ruler rulers are seized. I like this. And I can, wow, well that's why. Uh, they have very little, uh, strength, and theirs are inferior to hours. Okay, let's do it. I could use a holy war. Raise all armies and uh, call on my ally. Thank you. Oh yeah, my daughters need to get married before I get too, uh, before I get too excited I need to uh, marry some people off. Even though she is very ill. Ah. Uh, Duke Armis of Peasant Revolt. Yes, quite. I am confused. Uh, but also no. Uh, Canute. Yeah, let's do... Well, that's not ideal, but that's okay. And get my other daughter can get married to lots of people. Wow. The Duke of Aquitaine. Yeah, let's do that. Heck yes. And we get them married way off into the yonder distant lands and... Hmm, this keeps getting more expensive, but... How much do you like me? You like me fine. Okay. Anyway. You are being commanded by... Indeed. Ta-da, I have a new alliance. And it is great. It is also great. I will call on one of them. Uh, I will call on you. Spend 750. I've got plenty, though. Okay, but he's right there, so that's fine. 
I I feel okay doing that. Okay, good night. And we are engaging in a holy war against the laps. Um, so, uh, Lapland being an organized political entity here is kind of jank. Uh, given that the Laplanders, along with all other Sami people, are uh, semi-nomadic. And so they exist in this uneasy relationship uh, where ultimately all of this area is, even if it's nominally under someone's control, uh, is not really under... Oh, I should not... I should make sure that they only go to somewhere where I can actually um, hold them. Okay, so there's a town here. And so... Lots of the area here that is nominally uh, under Norway's control is not practically under Norway's control. And uh, one early duke uh, named Ottar in the nine hundred late the late eight hundreds. Sorry, you like me? Funding natural philosophy. Let's do it. Uh. Hmm. Where are all the enemies? I expected more people to show up. Oh well. We will start besieging places for reasons. Uh, anyway. So, uh, in the at the time of Alfred the Great in England, uh, he got a visitor from the Norwegian, uh, from northern Norway, known as Otter or Othar, and he was a Earl, somewhere in extreme northern Norway, somewhere up here. And so he uh, claimed to be trading uh, to be. Uh, hang on. I want to do some things on my council. Impr go to chivalry. And how are my guys doing on the training commanders? Cool. They're doing well. Okay. He says that he trades furs with the Laps and hunts uh, also gets walrus and whales uh, and trades with them for that and then trade that makes him incredibly rich. Uh, by far, uh, from the description of his territories, he claims he is exceedingly rich, like one of the richest people in Norway at the time. From trading with the lap apps. Additionally, you have something like uh, in Vat style of saga, uh, you have. Uh, hmm. Uh, a scene in which the family that will eventually uh, end up in. Uh, moving to Northern Iceland, to Vatsdalr, which is, uh, we'll trust them to be okay. Vatsdalr, oh, thank you, Trigvi. And he is not great, okay. Adequate bargainer. Uh, it is right here, Vatsdalr. Okay, yeah. We will need to defend him against these guys, though I think he will be fine. So, are unmarried. That's not good. Hmm. Indeed. Arrogant, calm, cynical. What are your traits? Gregarious, wrathful, and trusting. Well, we will do... Hmm. We will do that. Anyway, uh, so, as we burn, oh good, thank you Countess Elena. Oh good, and there is my ridiculously strong doom stack of an allied, of an allied army. Okay. So, um, we inst 
as these guys show up, they look very different because uh, they are Hungarian. So, but they are going to just go around and kind of absolutely curb stomp uh, the entire region. Anyway, uh, in that style of saga, uh, before they moved out there, uh, the place in which the wow, look at that efficiency. The place at which they are said that they will land is determined by, uh... Bunch of, uh, Laplanders sitting in a sauna. And, uh... From there, going forth, and... They are- these are the enemy armies, right? Yeah. And then they place a figurine, uh, somewhere in Iceland, or... They are handed a figurine, they go into the sauna, and then they see where it lands. It's not entirely clear whether they are the ones placing it, or... Uh... What? What do you mean? What do you mean, fascination? Okay, I got the arched saddle. Which is cool, I guess. Um... The bailiffs now. Communal. Ha -da -da, communal problems, hereditary rule. Okay, hereditary rule would solve the problems of uh some of our trouble uh but here it's we get we can get who's Carl's Okay. Uh, hereditary rule would save some of our troubles of elective governments, but I don't know that that's actually super necessary. Can we make that our fascination? Our fascination is horseshoes. Cool. Or we can make our fascination bailiffs. Ah, let's do horseshoes. Horseshoes seem useful. Okay, so we took control of that. Uh, how are we doing? Wow, they are going to absolutely thrash the rest of this. Uh, weird, where did the enemies go? They just like abandoned. They just absolutely bailed. Um, that's fine. We'll unlock the professional workforce. And there are like no, only like three towns in this entire area, so that's cool. We assist in taking this and odd. I don't know where the capital of this is supposed to. Be. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Now we shall just besiege the whole place at the same time, and it will be okay. Oh, uh, did my. I lost my commander, apparently. Uh, commander advantage of 20. Yeah, we'll make him that. Okay. Anyway, as these guys wander around and be dumb, we will instead take a- oh. Well, there's- that's why. We will speed ourselves up to get in here and cut them off before that siege finishes. Hopefully. Oh, they just, they're just bailing. Hilarious. We'll see if we can actually chase them down or not. It's not clear whether we'll manage that. Uh, it is very close. My counselor, Ice Mode, died. Okay, I should probably replace him then. Oh, my spy master is the one who died. Okay, my spy master is dead. That's kind of a problem. And so instead, I guess we will we'll make him spy master. I don't know. Let's keep going. Okay. So, what is there else to 
Huh. That's really disadvantageous for us, but we're still winning very well. Our knight was ru- Ah, uh, crap. We got our- We got one of our knights killed, and then we killed one of their knights. Wow! We nearly lost that. Okay, um... Interesting, he's both reckless and cautious. It's peculiar. Um, ally companions slain. Yep, uh, my mayor. Lots of people died. Um, anyway, uh... Ta-da! We are apparently good at that. Okay, um, we have someone else empty on the council. My marshal is dead. Uh, right. Well, you are about as good of a marshal as we can possibly get, so... Hey, and he gets a new thing there. Okay, we are doing a good job on this war, even though... We will let them take care of their own siege if they feel like taking care of their own siege. We are going to focus on busting down the last place here. Though, I don't know why they're not... Even though they're managing to take back some of these places. I don't know why uh, my ally is so useless, despite having a massively huge army. That's alright. Uh, I did, in fact, just win the war. Because I... Took the High Chieftain's brother. Um. Oh, actually, I took him, and then... Well. We just nommed a whole lot of... No a whole lot of territory. Anyway. What I did not, um... Say... Or is in the process of saying is that uh, the idea of Lapland being an organized territory that can just totally war is really weird. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of it. Especially since they, I think they said Lapland was all Ausatru in faith. No, it's Suomensko. Okay, that's, that's better. Uh, in the war they had said everyone that was, everything that was held by someone who was Ausatru. There, okay. There are some that are also true, which I don't like. I really don't like that it is not uh, that it is also true instead of some other name for pre-Christian Norse religions. Uh, Swamansko basically just means Finnish, uh, so it's a little less bad, but still not necessarily great. Uh, anyway, I do need, yep, I need to hand off some of these so we can, yep, a lot of disabled buildings there, a lot of weird holdings. Huh. A lot of these, what does it mean by, what does it mean wrong type? I'm not really sure what it means by that idea, to be honest. Um, anyway, let's ha go to our realm here and let's hand out some titles. Uh, can you? Can we grant you a title? Grant titles. Because what is your current? That doesn't necessarily matter. Uh, what do you hold? He's in Hologaland. Oh, so he actually holds the entire coast here. So let's give him one of these border provinces. The county of Lace. And let's give out more titles. Someone who only kind of likes me. Uh, where is Winkelmork? That's down there. Okay. Okay. Who owns Helgum? 
Count Finn does. Perfect. Let's grant you a title. And that solves our problem of insufficient, of incredibly insufficient uh, control in places. Anyway, uh, let's go council. Increase control in a county. Um, Because uh, Beton, yeah, has a whopping 14, which is not good. Oh, yeah, I'm technically in a war down here too, aren't I? In Normandy? But they're winning that. Or uh, not Normandy. In the low countries. Okay. Not a problem. They've got it themselves under control, it looks like. So, we will work on them. Uh, Council, please work on domestic affairs. And you're increasing control in places and otherwise being good. Okay. I don't know what it, I still don't know what it means by wrong type, but that's okay. Let's also create look at creating a cadet branch here. Hey, and we get another daughter. Okay, I can create a cadet branch of... Yep, okay. So Duke Finn creates a cadet branch, I think. Oh no, okay. So, I become house meal. House, house ground grain. Perfect. We are great at this. Anyway. We got a couple of uh, Swedish House of Truth Populists and Swami Swamensko Populists. Heresy! Uh, Prince Geza of Nitra has announced the world that he and his vassal will convert to Catharism. Having become disillusioned with the teachings of the Catholic priests, the nobles of Nitra no longer consider the clergy to be righteous and true and are distancing themselves from their former religious institutions. Indeed. Uh, Catharism is one of the very generic, uh, ta-da, I get nothing because I did nothing, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, I can abandon this. I don't need this to continue. Uh, I should look at my schemes to... Checking my card of who doesn't like me. I think everyone likes me though. Everyone loves me. Holy god. Actually, I'll recruit you to the court. Uh, because you are really pretty good at intrigue, so I may need to look at uh, getting you. Ah, uh, he's okay at it. Are you married? You are married. Okay. Are there people here who aren't married? No. Uh, but what I can do is take a look at my kids. You, uh, educate child. Uh, the person who... Hmm. We could give it to Maximilian, the lawgiver for education. Or, home like the philosopher. There we go. Uh, this is basically fostering, uh, which is a very old tradition in. Uh, why are you guys? Hello. What is going on in there? Why is there war going on inside of my territory? Come on, guys. Why, I, why? I can't tell why. Uh, 
Raider Fjall? Why is... What? Occupied by Duke Einar of the Northern Isles. Huh. So apparently my vassals are at war with each other. Because apparently uh, the Duchy of the Northern Isles decided it wanted land out here. Canute. Oh, cool. He gained some territory too. Congratulations, guy. Anyway, we made good progress today. We did holy war against a group that it makes no sense to have a holy war for. Against. Uh... And uh, we conquered Iceland uh, two centuries or a century and a half too early. And so this, I think, is largely where we are going to leave off um, for today. We made some good progress and we are... Olav Kira is proving himself to be incredibly good at the whole managing his country thing. At least everything relevant. My, my underlings seem to be messing around a little bit, but they, it still is solidly, indisputably under my control. And so, I think next up is to try and nom this part of Sweden. And then we will really be in control. Uh, though, in interest, interesting, uh, at least part of, uh, Lapland survived, so, that still exists. There, it's really weird overall, I think, while Iceland, uh, the idea of there being a unified Iceland before 1258 is basically unthinkable uh, just because no one was in significantly in charge due to the way the system was set up but overall I think the system can be adapted to work in this game I think it works actually less well in Norway because it can't model any of the code rulerships or complicated uh, relationships that aren't really described by a neat uh, vertical vassalage system well, that's okay. Uh, that's kind of the definition how this game overall works, because the periphery, basically, it works. It's designed most clearly for here, though it is still hardly perfect. Uh, and then it, the farther away you get from that in any direction, the less well it actually models it. Hopefully sometime soon, we're going to take a look at the Dar al Islam. I'll get a friend on who knows much more than I do to talk about that. And... Otherwise, yeah, we're going to try and see. Uh, we'll be back with this game eventually and play it a bunch more. We promise. Uh, there's no way I'm getting away from this game. But we're not going to play it for the next week and a half. On Saturday is going to be Bad North, which is a game, another Viking game. So you'll get to hear me talk about that more. Uh, with the questions of, you know, what is it like to get raided by Vikings? I've not played the game. We'll be going in blind and just seeing how it how it represents the Vikings, what I like, what I dislike, kind of my rough impressions. Then all of next week, uh, Inkle Games, who created Heaven's Vault and 80 Days, uh, their new game is comes out on Tuesday, so one week from yesterday. Uh, it's called Pendragon. It is a game around and about Arthuriana. So we're going to be talking about King Arthur and Camelot and all of that fun stuff all of next week. As always, if you like this, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, follow me here and on Twitter, and uh, do consider subscribing for this month only. It is 20% off or more on subscriptions, so it only costs you $3 for a subscription, or if you have Twitch Prime, it costs you nothing. So I do sincerely appreciate that, and it helps a lot with being able to uh, keep going with Given that the PS5 got announced and there are some really cool looking history games and, you know, not so history games uh, on that, that we can definitely play, both Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the Demon's Souls remake, Bloodborne, and some of those games, uh, there's a lot we can talk about, but your support is greatly appreciated in helping me be able to do that. So, if you have the cash to spare, uh, I greatly appreciate it, though there is by no means an obligation to do that. Additionally, uh, make sure you are in my Discord server, which I will drop a link to in just a moment. Once things load, keep on loading. Do 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 do. Working on it. Here it is. Uh, consider joining that to be notified when I go live and to be able to chat with me other times anyway. And yeah, so this is where we leave off the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Crusader Kings 3 and all the 
ramblings that we had there. And I will see uh, you all on Saturday at 11 a.m. Central Time. So that's uh, noon on the East Coast and, uh, what is it, 6 p.m. in Europe, uh, in Western Europe, for Bad North. Until then, have a good rest of your week, and I will catch you all later. Bye-bye.